Hey guys, it's me again. Um, so today we're heading to Rain Hedge. We've got dogs again. There he is. I don't know, I seem to attract a lot of dogs. Um, yeah, lovely, isn't it? It's nice and woolly. There you go. <laughs> Bless. So yeah, Rain Hedge is going to be good. Uh, we're going to cycle up there. I haven't been up there. I've been to Kursan, King Sand, on the bike, but I've not been to uh, Rain Hedge. So it should be nice. It should be a change. It'll be lovely. Um, I'm off work today. So, um, well, yeah, uh, it's uh, holiday season. I'm kind of off. Well, I'm in office every now and then. Uh, but yeah, should be good. Um, should be fun. So I'll take you on this journey. And I'm on my uh, retro bike today. So I'm on my orange missile, my 26er, uh, which has been quite a change from my P7 recently. Um, yeah, it's quite a difference, actually. Um, I've been adjusting to the reach on the uh, P7. Um, I don't know yeah it's a bit different to be honest but i love it it's really nice it's fun i've taken the uh missile because i'm not going on anything too technical it's nice if i if it was me i'd probably take an xc bike but yeah this one's good it's got um sure I've got adjustable travel on this got 110 up to 140 probably 110 for most of this i think unless it gets a bit a bit rough but we'll see how it goes exciting seeing rain head in the distance the views are spectacular
so I'm finally at Rame Head. It's an old chapel at the top of this uh, hill. Literally, it's absolutely gorgeous. A lovely day. It's a bit windy and it's a bit cold. It's been windy for the last few days. It's not too wet. It's not too muddy. But it has been, yeah, it's been really good. It's been fun. It's been, it's a really nice ride, actually. Could probably, you know, do an XC bike or a gravel bike at a push. You need some wider tires, maybe like, I mean, 40 plus, 40 meter, meter plus. Um, yeah, I reckon you probably get away with that. Um, I would have probably done it on my gravel bike if I was going down Military Road, down to Tor Point. That would have been a nice loop. But I think we're just going to go back down, back down to Cool Sand, the Kin Sand, and around Manichcombe. And uh, yeah, we're going to get something to eat. We're just going to head back home in Plymouth. Hey guys, so we've just come down from uh, Rame Head. Uh, we're at Kusan Beach. Uh, it's really nice over here, especially in the summer. It's really nice today. It's been a bit windy. Um, it's been a bit cool, but it's been really good actually. It's been a good ride. It's lovely views. It's brilliant actually. Up there was really, really good. I enjoyed it. We're gonna get something to eat at Manhatchcombe. Um, so not the orangery today. It'll be something else, I think. We've seen there's a couple of, um, a couple of restaurants at the top. Uh, so we're going to check them out. We'll tell you all about it.
Hey guys, so today I went to Rain Head. It was really good, actually, it was really nice. We went, we've come back now, we've stopped at the Farriers. It's here by the Mount Edgecombe House. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. The um, atmosphere is lovely, actually, and they've got, um, yeah, some seating outdoors. So it's kind of cyclist friendly. So yeah, you can just literally park your bike and uh, yeah, sit down, enjoy, have a coffee. Uh, we've ordered some uh, falafel burgers. Yeah, so today I, um, I rode the uh, orange missile. Um, I didn't take the P7, I've given it a bit of a rest and I haven't ridden it for maybe over a month, missile. It's just been hanging there. Um, so yeah, it's been good. It's been nice to um, ride it. Uh, it's taken some adjustment actually after riding the P7. But it's really good. So I reckon you could get up to Rame Head from Mount Edgecombe and back on an XC bike. So it's really ideal, nice light bike. 100, 100 mils be fine. Um, you could probably do it on a gravel bike, but you'd have to take care. You could do it on a, at a push. Maybe I'll try and do it someday and then just go down to Tor Point because there's more tarmac then, you know, and uh, it's a bit more uh, road bike or gravel bike friendly. Riding on the tarmac, I wouldn't be wanting to ride my missile uh, on the tarmac much because um, of the, the Michelin Wild Enduros are pretty... Uh, <laughs> pretty wide uh they've got some tread on them not too bad they're fast rolling they're okay on the on the tarmac but it's not something i want to wear down on the tarmac i'd rather use it for its purpose um no it was really really good i enjoyed it very much it was cloudy it was windy it was a bit cool but i wrapped up really well it was really good it was fun definitely recommend it if you need to need a loop around Mount Edgecombe up to Rame Head through Corsand and Kingsand. It's, um, yeah, it's a nice ride. It's really, yeah, it was fun. Hey, so um, the burger's actually awesome. It looks amazing. We've got some burger and fries, which is really good. This is a falafel burger. Uh, looks delicious. I'll let you know how uh, it tastes after. Falafel burger was a success. It was really good. The chips are excellent. The coffee, fabulous. Uh, really good. I very much enjoyed it. Definitely recommend it. Passed here a few times. I haven't been to Farrier's before. It's a thumbs up from me. That's a definite. So the favorite thing on my orange missile is probably the suspension, the old U-turn um, air, the pike. It's really good. It's an adjustable suspension goes from 110 up to 140 and it's pretty light it's 1.7 kilograms for for nowadays it's it's pretty good uh, weight wise i know the coil version weighs quite a bit i think 2.2 kg or something like that the dropper post on the orange missile really helped as well it's only a 100 mil drop it's the only thing i could get it was a brand x and it's a 27.2 diameter seat post um you can't really get any longer than it you can do you can get a thompson i think which is 125 but I, I don't know i settled with the brand x it's had good reviews and i like the routing a bit better than the thomas version cheers guys um so i'm heading home now i'm gonna catch a ferry thank you so much for watching it this far uh leave me some comments uh, anything about my p7 or my orange missile, my retro ride, um, anything about the, the trail, if there's any questions, if it helps you guys, if you're down in Plymouth or Devon or in Cornwall, uh, I hope this trail helps. Uh, you can probably find it on Strava under my name. Uh, I will put a link down below. Hopefully, if it helps, great. So if you could subscribe, leave me some comments, uh, any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.